Hello and welcome to this Core Technology software tutorial where we will be learning how to collect a spectrum using the TOF-MS acquisition software. Before collecting our first spectrum we must define some of the acquisition parameters. Use the Acquire Options button to access the settings for basic spectrum collection. The Acquire Options dialog box provides access to all of the basic time of flight options for data collection. For now we will focus on the spectrum acquisition options and the storage options, which are all that are needed to collect simple spectra. First we'll look at the spectrum acquisition options. Experiment time allows the user to define the duration in seconds of the data collection. This can be as long or short as you require for good peak statistics. The cycle time is the length of time for a single time of flight cycle. We must make the cycle longer if you wish to wait for the heaviest ions to reach the detector before starting the next cycle. This essentially controls the maximum mass range of any spectra collected. The resolution controls the granularity with which the time to digital converter collects data. The data range controls the time window within the TOF cycle for which data is actually recorded. Generally, you would choose to truncate the start of the cycle as we have here to eliminate the pulse of switching noise. Before collecting a spectra, it can be useful to enter anything that may help you at a later date in the memo box. This can be left blank. Finally, to enter a new file name for your data, use the Change File button. The default directory is the grams installation location, usually C, grams N, data. You can, however, change this to any directory that suits you. Enter a file name for your spectrum and click Save. If you take multiple spectra without changing the file name, the software will auto-increment it with a numerical suffix, allowing further spectra to be saved under a unique name. If you tick the Delete Alt Traces checkbox, it disables this feature, meaning that each spectrum will overwrite the previous unless you specify a new file name manually. Now we can accept the new settings using the OK button. To now launch a spectrum acquisition, simply click the Acquire button. Two small windows will pop up as soon as the acquisition starts. A smaller dialog box allows you to control the experiment, pausing or terminating the acquisition. The larger window shows the progress of the acquisition in completed TOF cycles and total ion counts recorded. During the collection, you'll be able to see how the cycles done and total counts figures increases. You can also see the spectrum developing from the baseline as counts are recorded. Once the acquisition is complete, the monitoring window automatically closes and you get an opportunity to change the memo previously set in the Acquire Options dialog. Thanks for watching this Core Technology tutorial video.